There's always some drama going on at Binance. I don't know how these guys can keep it so consistent and stay in the headlines and it always have a negative headline to it. We know they got sued by the CFTC. There's a big drama there. And now there apparently is a red notice for CZ. You can see this is uh, some rumors of this. See, rumors of an Interpol red notice for CZ. Is that what happens when a U.S. government agency accuses you of laundering money, money for terrorists? And he's saying, ask for a friend. So apparently these are rumors. Uh, so I don't know this Bitfinex guy. I see his tweets all the time. He's usually talking about some relevant stuff. And this Kobe guy, not extremely familiar with him either. I know he was in the Tozy stuff when he like, donated money to a Tozy when he was in a lawsuit against BitBoy. But apparently he tweeted out like a hash. And in that hash, you can see it says Interpol red notice for CZ. Now, the big question is, what is a red notice? So I looked this up saying uh, a red notice is a request to law enforcement worldwide to locate and provisionally arrest a person pending extradition, surrender, or similar legal actions. It is based on an arrest warrant or court order issued by the judicial authorities in the requesting country. So basically like a request out to get someone or get someone that they're interested in. You know, this uh, kind of like short sum here says red notice is an international alert for a wanted person, but not an arrest warrant. So I guess it's just kind of like a big alert, like somebody saying we're looking for this guy and we want him to be extradited to this country or we want him to be uh, held so we know where he is. So they're going to charge him or something going on. Uh, apparently it's not an arrest warrant so i think it can only be like criminal criminal charges or something brought up can't be civil charges so obviously pretty big deal right if cz is getting a red notice out for him it's rumors but if it is there that's obviously a massive big deal somebody who is owning the number one exchange in the world getting a red notice not the greatest news. And this Bitfinex guy says too, the reason why red notice arrest warrants on crypto executives are such effective, even if it's not true, is because deep down, everyone knows the crypto executives are running criminal operations. So sure, I think you could say that because obviously there is an army of people who love CZ and an army of people who hate him. So a red notice just kind of verifies the other side of people who hate him saying, uh, you know, this guy's obviously doing shady stuff, which I think Binance might be doing some shady stuff. They're not a very transparent and clean company. I don't think you can say that. And obviously this red notice fuels that fire. You can say, look, like we knew it all along. These guys are terrible. They're super shady. They're not a great company and they're being taken down. And if you look at some of the things that CZ and Binance have uh, been kind of entangled with, it gets kind of crazy. You can see this guy put a thread of it saying in honor of the red notice, which is still a rumor. Don't know if it's true. People are running with it. So if it's not true, obviously this is a huge waste of time. If it is true, not great, but you can see for, he puts out this whole thread here of like listing Binance wallets and CZ wallets to different things. This big one here, you can see uh, the first CZ wallet I looked into, uh, which is a user owned personal Binance account funded by CZ's wallet shows seven to nine figures moving back and forth to each Amber group, 3AC, TT, Ricky, Hart, Bybit, Genesis Trading Desk, Jump Capital, Ronin Explorer, and Luna. Now I'm not super familiar with every name here, but I know there's a few in here that have a similar story like Luna being the massive Ponzi scheme, like the biggest Ponzi scheme of all time, and and collapsing three arrows capital being a massive fund that collapsed and brought down like voyager and celsius and these interest bearing accounts with it because they were like all massively just together and colluding funds and it's just not a good time and even genesis trading desk i'm pretty sure is like going down or something with genesis and problems with them so i would imagine all these groups here are pretty similarly themed where they all have massive problems have either been straight up frauds or gone bankrupt and caused other collapses or been problems in the space. I would imagine that the majority of these probably share that type of thing. And the fact that CZ, the CZ wallet is interacting with all of them uh, is, you know, not great looks like to see all this stuff interacting together and him being involved in this, obviously it's not a great look when you're trying to say that you're running a legitimate business and you're not doing any fraudulent activity if you're involved with a bunch of frauds, I mean, you're probably a fraud, right? And it's not even that. Binance also, uh, you know, I guess crypto.com is just 
Binance, they're, they're running them together. Uh, Coinbase is even involved in the Binance stuff. Maybe not directly, maybe I'm just using Coinbase, but Binance and Coinbase have some sort of relation there. Filecoin, a bunch of other exchanges here. You can see it's just a bunch of stuff going on that Binance is involved in. And that's not the best look for them if this red notice turns out to be true. If CZ is actually a wanted person, then obviously having the blockchain and being public and all this and seeing all these interactions with all of these fraudulent companies or fraudulent people, then you know the problems just start to keep stacking up and it just looks pretty bad. And the latest thing is apparently CZ attempting to settle civil and criminal charges with the US DOJ. I think the CFTC was after them. The US DOJ was after them. Uh, I mean, you know, just all the regulators going after Binance after FTX collapsed. You can have tons of conspiracy theories on why that is and if they were going to do this, if FTX was still around, you know, who knows. But seeing this going down and, you know, attempting to settle instead of trying to prove himself innocent might be a problem right so obviously it's just not a good day to be cz it's not a great time to be binance or cz when everyone is apparently going after you and one of the more recent lawsuits is a billion dollar lawsuit making matters worse for binance he was listed with a bunch of other influencers you can see here binance its founder and ceo uh, CZ and three influencers, the NBA Miami Heat star Jimmy Butler, YouTuber Graham Stephan, and Ben Armstrong, which is BitBoy, are being sued for trading in and unlawfully promoting unregistered securities. Now, I think this is the same people that are filing this lawsuit are filing the billion dollar one against all the YouTubers and people who promoted FTX. So, maybe just a money grab from lawyers and things could absolutely be that there could be no case here i've heard a lot of people say that there's no case here for anything so this could just be a fraudulent just kind of money grab lawyer thing but it's still not great for the case of binance uh you can see some of the quotes here this is from the cftc stuff saying binance has instructed employees and customers to circumvent compliance controls in order to maximize corporate profits so that was the cftc kind of thing against binance right this is the big problems they had and then also you have the u.s department of justice has also been investigating binance in relation to anti-money laundering laws and potential tax offenses and it's mulling potential charges so all in all just not a real great time to be binance or cz looks like everyone's after them and i don't think that they've been this perfect company and super transparent and just a really upstanding company i do think they've taken some shortcuts cut some corners and maybe even just perpetuated fraud and money laundering and all that stuff there's a possibility that that stuff's happening at the bare minimum they're definitely not the greatest cleanest transparent company they definitely have some sort of skeletons if they're this bad that's really going to be bad for them and it seems like everyone's going after them so the number one crypto exchange in the world being brought down by a lot of regulators maybe that'll be the case maybe they fight back and they're completely innocent and have done nothing wrong that could be an outcome too but we'll see what happens we'll see if binance and cz make it out of this and we'll see if you know binance continues to be the biggest exchange in the world that's gonna do it for this video as always you smash like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video